So over here, you can see that I have a list of tasks right here. And then there's this budgeting task right here. So all of these tasks that you see above are related, but this is not. So what I want to do is I want to keep all of these tasks in, let's say, for example, a main task and um, uh, uh, like, uh, like keep them in a subgroup of a task right here. So I'm going to go around over here and click on insert task right here on the top. And let's say this is going to be the production uh, right here. So this is going to be the production task right here. And all of these are going to be a subtask. So I'm just going to click on the top and then shift select out right here, just like this. And then what I can do is I can go around on to the task right here and then indent it out. So to do that, you can go to the task tab and here you can see that this is what you have. Indent task is an option right here. If I were to click on it, now you can see that all of these tasks right here becomes a part of the production task as you can see this like this. If I were to go around and then zoom out, then this is what you have as you can see right here. You see the production tasks from beginning to end right here, which is a total of 93 days as per the plan as you can see right here. And if I were to collapse it, you can collapse it out over here as well. You can collapse it and you can expand it as you can see right here. And that is how you can create a subtask right here. So there's the brainstorming concept right here and story writing, as you can see, just like this. And if you want to go around and divide it out into further subtasks, then you can do that as well. Let me just go around and insert task and type in pre-production right here. So let's say this is one task that I need to do and brainstorming concepts, storyboard writing, script writing, uh, storyline writing, script writing, and storyboard is the past, um, is the part of pre-production. So I'm just going to go around and indent it further and you can see it becomes a subtask again. I'm going to go around over here and right click and add in a task over here just like this again. And now this actually becomes a part of pre-production which I don't want. So I'm just going to indent this back right here uh, just like this, a level, and, and let me just press cancel. And I'm going to go around over here and type in, let's see, production right here. Production, just like this. So this is what you have. Then you go around onto shooting and then indent it out over here. Then you got editing and publishing, which is a part of post-production. So I'm just going to go around over here, right click and insert task. And I'm going to go around indent it back. And I'm just going to go around and say post production right here just like this so once i do that i'm going to go around select editing and publishing and push it forward so this is what you have as you can see right here so now you got the production task right here and under the production you got the pre-production production and post-production and you see the days that it uh takes to complete them and under the post-production you got its subtask under the production there's the subtask and under the pre-production there's the subtask and you know exactly uh, what task is there and you can uh, easily manage it out right here. You know what is the main task and the subtask that the main task contains. So that is how you can create uh, subgroups of tasks inside of Microsoft Project. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.